Johnny, welcome. How are you? Good. Hi. Well, thanks for organizing. No um, worries. Um, we, we can see your slides clearly, so um, the floor is yours. Wonderful. Thanks. So, um, yeah, UQ is, you know, as all universities, we're in a transition, I think, between uh, the uh, kind of a, a people-focused uh, setting to an organization-focused setting. Uh, and UQ is kind of in, in the, going through that. Um, what I've put together is uh, are 20, not slides, but 25 tabs on my browser. So uh, 10 minutes, 25 tabs, that's uh, about 24 seconds a tab. Um, things are not as organized in the University of Queensland and, uh, and hence not in my presentation. But I, ho I hope I can give you a feel of, of who, who's here, uh, what we do, and uh, especially give a shout out to a few of the, uh, the younger fresh people that have recently joined. So uh, data science at the University of Queensland is, is, is of course in multiple places, as you've said, uh, there, are, there are many domains. UQ is strong, of course, in, uh, in agriculture and biology and all the biosciences in general. Uh, and some people, uh, well, there's a lot of data science there. Uh, I'm naturally from the School of Math and Physics, and that's where we have a lot of the statisticians, applied probabilists and machine learner le learning uh, theory people. Uh, but I also speak about uh, some other parts of the university. So yeah, the university is divided into schools and we're in the School of Math and Physics. So um, there's also the School of ITEE and jointly the School of Math and Physics and ITEE, that's Information Technology and Electrical Engineering, we have the Masters of Data Science. Now this is a teaching program, but that program has actually brought us together in the sense that um, uh, we, we just, we, we work together mostly on teaching, but has, has created some synergies between uh, machine learning experts at, on the um, IT side and uh, machine learning and data science people uh, here on, on my side of the things, and also database people. Um, so we've got this Master of Data Science program. And then, yeah, UQ does have a page, that kind of a forward-facing page for artificial intelligence at UQ. And of course, right, we've got different names. We've got AI, we've got ML, we've got deep learning, we've got data science, we've got used to be data mining, there are all these things. I think that the choice of the center to actually go with data science as a tagline is great because it seems like this is something that's here to stay. Um, AI is, AI is, is anything that's automated and, and you can find much, many more things on this page. So let me now just drill down a bit and look at some of, uh, we'll look at some of, of my colleagues in the School of Math and Physics. So you probably know some of these names. So you'll see kind of a few uh, general fields of expertise. So you've got, you've got people that are, um, that are statistical theory people, uh, both applied statisticians, theoretical statisticians in, in the mix. You've got applied probabilists, um, quite a few. Okay, so applied probability, that's mathematical uh, modeling of stochastic systems. Uh, but me, myself, for example, being uh, historically an applied probability researcher, I'm little by little becoming more of a, of a data scientist and machine learner, uh, simply because we're connecting to data is exciting. You've got operations research people, and you've got uh, machine learning people. These are, these are pretty much uh, this is the type of uh, what we have. And... Um, so Alan, uh, some of you might know, know Alan. So Alan, Alan really works in, in, uh, in, in statistics and in many aspects of statistics and has, has published a lot and uh, things of that sort. Um, Slava, I think Slava is actually on this talk. So Slava recently uh, co-authored uh, his third book with uh, Dirk Cruz, Dravko Botev and Thomas Tamir, uh, Data Science. You, may, many of you know this book of, of Dirk. I'll, I'll show more, more on it later. And, um, and Slava and I and others also do consulting for the GRDC, that's a Grain Research Development Corporation, uh, kind of giving expertise towards there. Slava also has uh, other work in reliability analysis. Um, Nan, yeah, I believe Nan was previously um, uh, a senior postdoc at, at uh, QUT and we're very lucky to have him at UQ. So he's, he's pushed a lot of our deep learning um, courses and is a machine learning expert with mathematical emphasis, doing a lot of robotics, a lot of partially observable market decision processes, reinforcement learning and as such. Um, and Ian Wood uh, came from a background of, of, of learning actually, and then uh, shifted more to statistics and, and is now an expert applied statistician by statistics um, and the like. So, then we've got numerical optimization uh, experts such as Fred, and Fred uh, is a machine learning expert being the, given the fact that in the past uh, 20 years, numerical optimization has, has uh, mixed with machine learning very closely and numerical linear algebra and machine learning now live together. Um, 
And Fred is a heavy hitting researcher and does a lot of things there. Some of the things you might see of Fred is, for example, uh, an attempt to really use second order uh, methods of optimization in deep learning models, uh, something that is not done today. So deep learning uh, is typically done today because we're speaking about parameters that can span terabytes uh, done just with gradient descent. Uh, Thomas Tamir, he, uh, an applied probabilist, but also an expert of, uh, of many, many things, the co-author of that book I mentioned, which I'll show in a second more, of, of Dirk Thomas Dravko and uh, Slava. Um, Thomas actually also works a lot with optics people uh, and, and, and contributes to kind of fundamental research in, in optics. Uh, that's probably a bit far directly from data science, because this is really kind of high-speed engineering and physics, uh, but he's do, doing a lot in applied probability as well. Um, and Michael Ballmer is, is an expert of teaching and operations research uh, and teaches our course that uh, one to one and many other things around the, also the master of business analytics at UQ. So in the School of Maths and Physics, we've got physics and we're very lucky to have the uh, physics, uh, physics researcher, Dr. Sally Shrapnel, and she's also um, uh, a quantum physicist and a, phys a physician, a GP and a machine learner, um, and perhaps an overachiever, I'm not sure. Uh, so that's uh, that's Sally, and uh, we work together on things as well. And Michael Forbes does deterministic operations research. So I've left the the experts uh, to the the end. I mean, you know of Jeff McLachlan in his several books. Uh, he's done a lot of things, and and um, and still has. And I think I've seen Megan on the call. So I'll slow down just for a sec. So. There are a few new hires, some of which we can speak about. And what's often happening with the new hires, new hires come and, and naturally want to collaborate with people uh, in the Australian community, the community in Brisbane and the, community, the broader community. So Megan Carney is um, an applied mathematics dynamical systems expert, but brings something very special to the table. So uh, in addition to doing uh, applied mathematics and aspects of applied mathematics actually connects it to data science. So that's uh, the interface of applied mathematics and data science. And similarly, some of you may know Sharon Lee. Sharon is, uh, it's, I think it's, I hope it's okay to say joining us as well. Uh, so very happy to have Sharon soon. Uh, and there should be more that we can't really speak about just yet. Um, so check, check out this book by Dirk and several others. Uh, some of you would know it, uh, it's just a great book. Um, and now going on to the IT uh, side, uh, but we're close friends and work a lot. So Marcus Gallagher is a machine learning expert and actually runs a UQ Slack channel on artificial intelligence. So there's a lot happening there and a, re and a reading group, as I know it's happening in other places. Anders Ericsson, he uh, coordinates the Masters of uh, Data Science program at the moment, together with me doing it from the, com the mathematics side. And Anders is a medical uh, imaging expert machine learner. And you should also know Professor Shazia Sadiq. So uh, Shazia is a database systems expert and has really pushed a lot of things in data science at UQ, often looking at the systems, the infrastructure, and uh, these important aspects of the field, the big data aspects. Um, yeah, I think I was supposed to speak for 10 minutes and that's it. I've left four slides that have to do with uh, with mine, my, a bit of my research. I'll just stop here and just tell you for a very quick second. We actually have now a real epidemic running in the University of Auckland, a real fake epidemic on cellular phones. Uh, and that's exciting. So I'm actually finding uh, myself doing hands-on data science day and night, uh, looking at logs, doing SQL queries and doing the likes. Uh, but that's a story for a different day. Thanks. Yanni, thank you so much. That was really great. Great to um, get some uh, detail about some of the uh, uh, the people at, at, at UQ there. I've seen a few names. I go, oh, I must, must connect these um, uh, people together. Tell me, um, how, how do you go about making connections within the university itself, given that, like, at, at all institutions, um, data science, machine learning, AI, it's, it's, it's so broadly um, spread across um, activities. What, what, what's the sort of like the, the, the connection process like at uh, UQ? Yeah, no, it's, it's a good question. I must say we're not, first of all, we're not excelling in connections. Uh, you've got a lot of very talented people, busy working, many with, with connections elsewhere in Australia, et cetera. So, you know, there's, well, there's great friendships, but there's not this... Uh, structured group uh, sense of things. Uh, but what we do have is uh, seminars, 
reading seminars, joint supervisions, uh, and the likes. And because UQ is just such a big science university that you, as, as, a, as a data science researcher, I, I and also my colleagues, we just continue to get opportunities of, of different things, right? So for example, Slava, Sally, and I, and Marcus are now on this agriculture bandwagon in addition to the epidemics bandwagon, right? So it, and it's very interesting actually. Uh, but there's not, um, we, we haven't, we haven't, it doesn't seem that we've done as well as QUT in the sense of kind of creating this very nice center that, that can really give a, a unified hat uh, for things to, to move. But that's why I'm very happy that you've said this national uh, thing and that can give us a, a bit of a setting. Well, I think um, uh, each of us uh, sort of in, in, in different contexts, but you know, we, we see the opportunity there for us to deliver even more benefit by, by, by raising the prospect of connections and, and collaborations. That's great. 